Twitter stands by alexshows.com, prisonplanet.com, infowars.com. Hey, do you wanna watch my new show, Happy Half Hour? Good, cause you're contractually obligated to. It's every Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific or 4.30 p.m. Eastern time on TYT's YouTube TV channel. Go to tv.youtube.com to sign up. And if you have it, that's where you can watch it. Also, we're gonna put clips from that show right here on the Pop Trigger YouTube channel. It goes up every Friday and Saturday. That's where you can get it, go do it, subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, unsubscribe, look around, subscribe again, it's a lot of fun. This is a sad day for freedom of speech as Alex Jones has been banned off of multiple platforms including Spotify and, and Apple uh, where his podcasts were removed. Uh, Alex Jones was also banned yesterday off of Facebook and YouTube. Um, in uh, because uh, of a clear violation of their terms of service. Uh, however, there is one platform where Alex Jones still remains as strong as ever, and that one is Twitter. Now, uh, Twitter CEO Jack, of course, released a uh, multiple tweet statement. It starts off by saying, we didn't suspend Alex Jones or Infowars yesterday. We know that's hard for many, but the reason is simple. He hasn't violated our rules. That's a lie, <laughs> um, that was my uh, thing. We'll enforce if he does, and we'll continue to promote a healthy conversational environment by ensuring tweets aren't artificially amplified. Truth is, we've been terrible at explaining our decisions in the past. We're fixing that, also a lie. We're going to hold Jones to the same standard we hold to every account, not taking one-off actions to make us feel good in the short term and adding fuel to new conspiracy theories. If we succumb and simply react to outside pressure rather than straightforward principles, we enforce and evolve impartially regardless of political viewpoints. We become a service that's constructed by our personal views that can swing in any direction. That's not us. Accounts like Jones can often sensationalize issues and spread unsubstantiated rumors. So it's critical journalists document, validate and refute such information directly so that people can form their opinions. This is what makes public conversation the best. This was very wishy-washy, I have a lot of thoughts on it, but first, Let's start with you guys. Um, do you think Jack is a coward? I, you know what's funny? The part where he says, um, we can't take people down because of our views. It seems a lot of people think he's not taking him down because of his views. Exactly. Yes. And because, I mean, it lines up with a lot of things that we've uncovered about him. I will say, they were lighting Jack up yesterday on Twitter. Always. And it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. Always. That's all I got. Yeah, I don't think he's a coward, but he's definitely an opportunist. Ooh. And like he's using this whole situation where other platforms are banning Alex Jones off of them for his own for his own good. And yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think there is a profit motive there. I, I, I definitely agree with Amir. Um, the reason why I also think it's partially cowardice is that this uh, this veneer of neutrality or, or impartialness is not real. Okay, they and I think. Uh, there's an important statement here where he says, um, truth is we've been terrible at explaining our decisions. Um, we're not gonna do one off uh, things. I think he's referring to Milo Yiannopoulos, banning Milo Yiannopoulos mm -hmm. off the platform, which was a big thing for freedom of speech champions. This conversation is not about free speech. This conversation is about hate speech. This conversation is about slander. This conversation is about libel and harassment. Because Alex Jones on multiple occasions has admitted to lying in a courtroom mm -hmm. in order to cover himself, in order to protect himself. And yet we behave as though this is simply a misguided journalist, and that precedent is incredibly different for someone like Alex Jones, who, like I said, has engaged in uh, systemic harassment campaigns of, of people that have been uh, victims of shootings. Hey, did you know that TYT has its own channel on YouTube TV streaming network? It's true, you should go sign up for a free seven day trial and then you can get all of our TYT exclusive YouTube TV content, including the happy half hour with me, the uh, damage report with John Iderola, which I produce, and the no filter show with Anna Kasparian, which I produce. And if you don't watch those shows, then pretty much I don't exist.